Okay, now we are here at REC and I'm here with Mr. John Harold Groningen, Vice President of, uh, for the Global Sales of REC. Welcome to Rare PV TV. Please tell us in a few words who is REC, where is it coming from and what is it doing? Sure, I'll do that. REC is a Norwegian company. Uh, we're stock listed in the Norwegian uh, Stock Exchange. We're established there with our first production facilities. Uh, now we are, of course, a, a globally uh, uh, distributed company. We have silicon production in the US. We have uh, wafer cells and modules in Singapore. So we are truly, truly a global company uh, uh, as it is right now. And what is REC expecting out of the Solar Expo 2012? Well, I mean, if you look around, there is a good, uh, good number of visitors. We are uh, launching our installer program here. We are getting a lot of interest on that. We're also uh, uh, relaunching the uh, partner program, which uh, the installer program is part of. And we're seeing a lot of good traction on that. And, and in particular, we are seeing uh, a, quite a positive, uh, positive vibe uh, of the visitors in the, in the trade show. Well, there's a positive vibe despite of the cutting of the feeding uh, tariffs. How are you reacting on a global basis yeah. and uh, in Italy especially? Yeah. I mean, RSC has always been in favor of uh, reasonably uh, priced feed-in tariffs. Over lucrative uh, feed-in tariffs that we've seen in some countries that led to uh, a rapid growth and a rapid decline. It's never good for the industry. Predictable uh, long-term uh, legislation is what we need. We'd rather have uh, not as lucrative but a visible um, legislation over, over a period of time. And to be honest, what has happened the last couple of years has really opened up and shown the world the potential of solar. If you look back two, three years into, into the solar industry, there were a couple of very fundamental questions that the outsiders had about solar. One, uh, will it ever be competi uh, competitive to uh, fossil fuels, for instance? Two, uh, will, uh, which technology will emerge as the winner in this, uh, in this space? And I think you know, the last period, the last couple of years, have really shown that uh, one, solar can be competitive. We see that in several markets across the world. Uh, and two, I think it's safe to say that the silicon-based uh, technology is uh, by far the dominating uh, technology in this space. So for us, it, uh, the last couple of years has given us some tick in the boxes on where uh, we are going to go forward. And how do you see REC uh, and the global photovoltaic market business in uh, five years? In five years, I mean, what is uh, expected? All the analysts say that, and we also believe that, is that Europe uh, will uh, gradually, uh, gradually decline um, we will, however, see new markets lighting up. South America, Africa, Asia, new markets where solar has never ever been thought upon previously uh, because we have uh, previously been relying on the feed-in tires. Now that the prices have come down, we see volumes in those regions going up. So for the solar industry as such and for RSC as such, uh, being a global company, it's extremely exciting times we're heading into now. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Groningen. Vice President Global Sales at REC. Thank you very much.